So we have a very basic script, which we can now turn into a service. So instead of running in the foreground or background within a user space, uh, the system can run it as a service. So system D would manage that. To do that, you create a unit file. So I'm gonna click on this other tab in Opet++. I created a little unit file here. I'm just gonna call it my netcat server script. Um, down here, uh, you may need to change this, but mine, my script is running from home student server.sh. Uh, your script may be in a different location. Just make sure this points to your script that you created. Uh, and I'm gonna run it with bin bash. In a lot of services, you won't see this bin bash before the, um, the script because instead of a script, it's an executable binary, right? So you would just need the path to the binary that it's gonna run. Uh, if it fails, I want it to try to restart. So I have that in here. It's gonna run into the context of root. Um, I wanna redirect my standard output to the journal and my standard error to the journal, and that's for logging purposes. Um, so because my script is gonna run in the, in the as a service now, there's no one to look at the console anymore. So I gotta send those messages somewhere where we can see them. So I'm just gonna send them to the journal because that's where we usually do our logging and monitor our services. So once I do that, I should be able to, now that's in my home directory, right? So if you look here, I've got that uh, nc.service is in my home directory. I have to move that into, well, copy it. I'm gonna copy it. So I'm gonna use uh, sudo cp nc.service. I'm gonna put it into etsy forward slash. So all of our system files have to go into systemd system and then the name of the uh, service. So nc service. So that should create the file. So now that the file is there, I have to install this service and it's very simple. It's one command. It's gonna be systemctl uh, enable nc.service. Now it's gonna tell me that I don't have permission to do that, but this service is smart enough that it can ask me to log in. So I put my password and, oops, I may have put it in wrong. Try it again. <laughs> Let me try it. I, uh, keep typing my password wrong. All right, I think. Trying to type my password too fast. There we go. So it authenticated that time and installed the service. Um, since I enabled the service, now I can check on the status of that service. It'll recognize it and it can show me the status. Um, you can see it says it's enabled, but um, it's not actually running, right? So the active, the status is dead, meaning it's not actually running right now. So I could start it though. So I'm gonna come over here and change uh, status to start. And that should start the service. By the way, if you use the sudo command, you won't have to type your password every time uh, if, you, if you prefix systemctl with sudo. Um, but it should be running now. So if I check my status, I could see that it's running. And if I come back over here, I should still be able to interact with it just like I did before. But now it's running as a background service. <laughs>